Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about the data view date time function. In the previous session, we have covered the data view date time functions or the basic functions we have covered. Now in this session, we will cover the modules. Some of the business requirement we can't achieve by using this other data view function. For that, we need to use data view module. By using this module, we can write data view in the short length instead of the writing the long length code in the data view. So for that purpose, we need to import one module dw colon colon code colon colon dates is the module that contain the function for the creating and the manipulating the dates to use functions of this module we need to import in our the data view so it contain the number of the functions we will see the one by one with its use cases now we will see the what are the functions are available in this module first at the beginning of the day at the beginning of the hour, at the beginning of the month, at the beginning of the week, at the beginning of the year, date, date time, local date time, local time, time, today, tomorrow, yesterday, such of such type of the different functions are available in this module. We will say step by step with the use cases. Now let's start with the first data view model functions. So for that we have taken the input two dates which have first is the date time it contains date and the time and second one is a date it contains only the date by using this we can understand the what are the modules cover that functionality. First, we will cover at the beginning of the day. At the beginning of the day is the function that can be used to change the time value in the input date time to the beginning of the specified day, which means hour, minute, second in the input it changed to the zero. Now we will see how it's changed. So we take input date as a date and time. Now the hour is the six and the minute is 40 and second is the 20. Let's see how it's convert. You can see here at the beginning of the day, it becomes the zero hour, minute and second. After that, we will see at the beginning of the hour. At the beginning of the hour, this function is used to change the time value in the input date time or the time value to the beginning of the specified hour, which means minutes and the second it becomes the zero. Now the date time has the with hour six and the time is the 40 minutes and the 20 second. After using this, it becomes the zero. Now you can see the minutes and the second it becomes the zero the next function is at the beginning of the month 
let's see how it is working with the current date time example this function is used to change the day value from the input date time value to the first day of the specified month in that time it's become the zero let's see how it's work you can see here previously it is the 23rd day of the 8th month now it's become the first day of the 8th month and time our time complete time it's become the zero you can see here this happened in the case of the date and time we will see what are the happens only if we are passing the date second is date you can see here 23rd day of the 8th month now it's become the first day of the 8th month next we will see at the beginning of the week how it's work This function is used to change the day and the time value of the input date time value to the beginning of the first day of the week. This function treats Sunday as the first day of the week and input time is become the zero. Now we can see here the 23rd is the day of the eight months and and input time has the six hour 40 minutes and the 20 second after using of this it becomes the zero time and it gives the first day of the week and it contain or it treat that sunday is the first day of the week now we will see at the beginning of the year how it's work or what value we that are given to us after passing the input now we will see input date time are given it the day is the 23rd of the 8th month now we want at the beginning of the year it means it is giving the first day of the first month and time value is become the zero you can see here now we will try with the date the input date has 23rd day of the particular month after using this it become the first day of the first month of particular year you can see here input is 23rd day of the eight months now it's become the first day of the first month in this way at the beginning of year it is working now we will see the date function this function is used to create the date value by passing the value specified for the year month and day fields this value is the customized value we are passing that value it is printing by using this function let's see how it is given or how it is work
we can see here we are passing the year month and the day and it prints the complete date with the help of the date function now we will see the date time this function is used to create a date time value by passing value for the specified year month day hour minute second and the time zone field also so we will copy the first year months and date after that we will add the times hour we will add 11 comma minutes you can see here after adding this some fields are automatically uh, showing you you can choose that one and time zone we can pass the time zone IST time zone is the ahead of the 5 plus 30 5 hours plus 30 minutes and the UTS UTC time zone we can add by using this you can see the output with date and time with the time zone after that we can see the local date time this function is used to create local date time value by passing the value for the specified year month day hour minute second we can see here if we are passing local date time here At the end of this, you can see with the help of the local date time function, complete date time you can see here. Now we will see the local time. This function is used to create a local time value by passing the value for the hour, minutes, and the second fields. In this, we need to pass hover minutes. So, at the end, you will get the output with hover minutes and seconds. Then the last one we are passing the time. So this function is used to create the time value by passing the specified hour, minutes, and second for the specified time zone. We can achieve by using this time.
and in the time we can add the time zone also in this format est time is ahead of 5 hours and the utc time now we will see the today tomorrow and yesterday these functions we can use in our the project to achieve the date time in the short length of the code so what is the functionality of the today so today is the function gives us the date as the date in the response so it gives the today's date you will see how we write this one here you can see the today's date 13 9 and 2023 same we will see the tomorrow's date so the simple functions are available in this module by using this you can print the simple date times the short length of the code Now you can see here the tomorrow date is the 14th of 9th September. Then yesterday date is the 12th of the 9th September. In this way, we have covered the all date time functions which is available in the module. So thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.